What is child sexual abuse? It's a deeply unsettling topic, but one that needs to be addressed. Child sexual abuse encompasses any interaction between a child and an adult, or another child, where the child is exploited for the sexual gratification of the perpetrator or an observer. This can involve both touching and non-touching behaviors, ranging from inappropriate physical contact to voyeurism or exposing the child to pornography. Instead of physical force, abusers often resort to manipulation, threats, or other forms of coercion to engage children and maintain their silence. They may even employ grooming tactics, such as giving gifts or arranging special activities to further confuse the victim. So who is affected by this horrendous act? The unfortunate reality is that children of all ages, races, ethnicities, and economic backgrounds are susceptible to sexual abuse. It's a global problem affecting both girls and boys in every kind of neighborhood and community. How could one possibly recognize if a child is being or has been sexually abused. The signs can be subtle and varied. Children who have been sexually abused may display a range of emotional and behavioral reactions, such as increased nightmares, withdrawn behavior, angry outbursts, anxiety, depression, or inappropriate sexual knowledge and behaviors. Why don't children speak up about sexual abuse? There are multiple reasons, from threats of harm to fear of not being believed, or feelings of shame and guilt. Young children may not even have the language skills to articulate the abuse, or may not understand that the perpetrator's actions are abusive. If a child ever discloses abuse, it's crucial to stay calm, listen carefully, and never blame the child. Express gratitude to the child for sharing this with you and reassure them of your support. If you know or suspect that a child is being or has been sexually abused, don't hesitate, act immediately. Call the Child Help, our National Child Abuse Hotline at 1-800-4-A-CHILD or visit the federally funded Child Welfare Information Gateway. If you need immediate assistance, call 911. Many communities also have local children's advocacy centers that provide coordinated support and services to victims of child abuse. For a state-by-state -state listing of accredited centers, visit the website of the National Children's Alliance. Remember, your action could save a child's life. Act now. Report any suspected cases of child sexual Have abuse. Have you ever pondered over your comprehension of child safety, particularly concerning the subject of child sexual abuse? This is a challenging topic, one which many prefer to avoid, but it is essential to comprehend the realities, debunk the myths, and equip ourselves with the correct knowledge to safeguard our young ones. Under the banner of National Child Abuse Prevention, we aim to educate and empower. Firstly, a widespread myth is that child sexual abuse is invariably committed by adults. The truth, however, is that 23% of reported cases of child sexual abuse are perpetrated by individuals under the age of 18. It's crucial to grasp that while some degree of sexual curiosity and exploration is normal between children of approximately the same age, when one child forces another into adult-like sexual activities, this behavior is unhealthy and abusive. Both the abuser and the victim can benefit from counseling. Another myth is that discussing sexual abuse with a child who has endured such an experience will only exacerbate the situation. On the contrary, research shows that encouraging children to speak about sexual abuse does not worsen their feelings. In fact, mental health professionals can help mitigate the physical, emotional, and social problems these children may confront by allowing them to process their feelings and fears related to the abuse.
Now, let's delve into some crucial tips to help shield children from sexual abuse. 1. Ensure children know the accurate names of private body parts. 2. Bear in mind that most children are abused by someone they know and trust, so don't concentrate solely on stranger danger. 3. Enlighten children about body safety and the difference between okay and not okay touches. 4. Empower children to refuse when they do not wish to be touched, even in non-sexual ways, and to say no to touching others. 5. Reassure children that adults and older children never require help with their private body parts. 6. Encourage children to take care of their own private parts so they don't have to depend on adults or older children for help. 7. Educate children about the difference between good secrets and bad secrets. 8. Trust your instincts. If you feel uncomfortable about leaving a child with someone, don't do it. If you're worried about possible sexual abuse, ask questions. Remember, the ideal time to converse with your child about sexual abuse is now. Children are most frequently sexually abused by someone they know and trust. In conclusion, child sexual abuse is a grave issue that demands our understanding and action. It's not only adults who can be offenders, and discussing the abuse with a child who has gone through it can be advantageous. It's crucial to protect children with the correct knowledge, empower them to say no, and trust your instincts when it comes to their safety. It's never too early to initiate these discussions and to educate our young ones about their rights and their safety.